Hello everybody, what's up? My name is Riley I'm and welcome back to episode 12. Episode 11 was pretty crazy, but, you know, just wait till, you know, this one and 13. These are both pretty action-packed, as you know, we're nearing the end of the game, so... Every step that we take is just a step closer to the end of the game, but... Boy, I don't want to kiss this base goodbye, I love this place so much, but, uh... We're getting through it, guys, certainly. But, yeah, today we are discovering Marguerite where she's living on that iceberg and, you know, progressing the story a little bit. Episode 13 is also going to be a banger, but I'm not going to talk about that one yet until we start episode 13. So let's go ahead and jump right into 12. Let's do this, guys. I will see you in the video. Okay, we are on the surface. Um, we're heading out, guys. I'm trying to find the entrance to that big, like, landscape, the meadow, you would say. Uh, I know. Uh, so as you guys can see, I have made the uh, cold suit. It gives me 80% resistance to basically like the entirety of the cold. So, like, I can survive for quite a bit, but I can still freeze. So, that's still a mechanic. Um, I'm heading to that meadow. Yeah, there it is. Um, this is where we should be able to construct the pad and the snow fox. I'm a... Oh my god, did he just eat that stalker? So, the snow fox hover pad. They can't... Okay. Bam. Okay, so now we press construct. Oh, baby. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and eat food and get some water in us. Let's make sure our temperature is all the way up. Oh my god, here we go, guys. Oh god. God, this feels so weird. I gotta get used to this. Oh, this feels so cool. Okay, now I'm starting to feel how this works. Okay. Yeah, I see how the energy works on this. Oh my god, this is like weird. I'm just cruising. Okay, so I have to wait for like the boost to recharge then, I'm assuming. Yeah. Alright. My temperature is pretty high. Maybe I don't lose temperature while I'm on this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Can we stop here? There's a dead one here. An ice worm. What? Something ate it? Oh, shit. So these are all just... Yeah, ice worm bones. Why are they all dying? Is it too cold for them? Ooh. Okay, we gotta be careful. We're kinda in their territory right now. All right. Zoom, zoom. I feel like the worms can't catch up to how fast we are on this. I think. I don't know. I saw the shadow. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, maybe we follow... We follow the alien, uh... Like, thing. Whatever this is called. The, like, the cord. Because I know that generates, like, power to some of the bases. So maybe we can locate it based off of that. Alright. Just pilot this right on over. Oh, it does have a flashlight. That's sick. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> the way that th this thing pilots is a little weird. Okay, so. Maybe I just leave it here? No, I should probably take it with me, right? No, I should probably leave it. I'm gonna repair it real quick. Because it took a lot of damage there. 
Okay, let's go check this out. Okay, so the alien, it cuts off like right here. Oh, I was right. Oh shit. Large emeralds. Those are cool looking. Okay, so we're in some sort of facility here. I'd assume Alan's gonna come in here at any second and tell us what's going on. We got an ion cube here. It would seem that Altera has already swept through this, potentially. Architect component. This component you found. It is one we can use to fashion my story. New blueprints synthesized. can be used to construct several different types of tissue. The technology is remarkably efficient. Several types? How do you avoid ending up with, I don't know, hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. Hmm. Well, that's a bit weird. So we're literally finding fragments of his body. All right. Hmm. So, oh my God, there's an ion cube drilling like thing here. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to take my prawn suit out here. That's crazy. So like, Okay, so we have to find all these components. We have to find the skeleton. We have to find the organs. Okay, come to think of it, guys, I may be a bit of an idiot. How much you want to bet from that one episode when we went to the body cache down there and we found that, uh, uh, the statue down there in the gardens, that there was actually a piece down there that we missed. Yeah, the skeleton could have been in there, potentially. Yeah, it could have been in the body cache. I could have just been a complete idiot and went completely over that. Alright, so is that all we're finding here? Because in terms of content, that wasn't all that much. I might actually head down to the body cache this episode and see if our suspicions are correct. Yeah, that's just another way out. Alright guys, I think I'm going to bring the prawn suit all the way over to uh, this ion cube thing so that I can, uh, so that I can get the, uh, the ion cube cache thing. So I want that. Let's see. So guys, I reckon that uh, what we have to do is find that facility down... There's bound to be a facility where we have to assemble all of his pieces. I'd assume that's the one down in the Purple Crystal Caves. Because where else would they put it? Of course they put it in the most dangerous place in the game with the stupid Shadow Leviathans. I mean... Come on now. It's just kind of obvious, but... Oh wow, okay. I think a one ion cube from that? It's a high capacity alien source, yeah that's about right. Jeez, we're probably gonna get so much from this. It's gonna be wonderful. Also, that body uh, piece we just found, it has like, costs like three magnetite, which is actually quite expensive because I didn't grab a lot of magnetite while I was down in the crystal caves. So we're gonna have to go back down there with the Shadow Leviathan again, which is so great. <sighs> all right, we got all that. I will meet you guys back at the Snow Fox. God, that jump was fucking sick. When you get some elevation on it, that's how you know you're pretty... Hell no. Nah. Alright, so I guess we can just leave this here for now. I think it's pretty safe here, generally. Um, We need to go back, and I guess we can construct this architect tissue, but we can't do anything yet until we actually have it. I think another thing we need to do is, actually I think what I'm going to do this episode, guys, oh yeah, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to make that parallel processing unit, yeah, yeah, and then we're going to turn that into the tower. 
Yeah, the parallel processing unit, and then we're going to make a test overdrive module, and we're going to turn it into that radio tower uh, at the island. We're going to see what that gives us. We're going to go check that out. So, yeah, I'm going to cut to getting back to the house, guys, and I'll meet you there. Isn't it ironic? Right when I get home, this shit pops up on my screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for undertaking the quest for an alternative storage medium. I would really love it if you could stop referring to me as a storage medium. Not you. Your body. My body is a significant part of who I am and how I experience life. It is different for us. Clearly. Or you wouldn't have been hanging out in that sanctuary waiting to hitch a ride with me. How did you get in there anyway? I don't know how much I should tell you. Not a flattering story? We came here in search of a cure for the Kara bacteria. What? Mm. Thousands of years ago? I do not experience time as you do, but yes, that is technically correct. My body was infected before a vaccine could be developed. I uploaded my consciousness to the sanctuary for storage. Then what? I waited. What happened to the others? I do not know for certain. Some left, others perished. Over time, my connection to them grew weaker. I cannot sense them now. Helen, I... I know you wish me to leave your body. For that, we must find two more parts. Yes, okay, but... What I was going to say was, I'm sorry. Why? You have done nothing wrong. Not sorry like an apology. Sorry like I feel empathy. Are all your human languages so confusing? All the ones I know are. Huh. That's so weird. So, Alan, before his inevitable death, uploaded his consciousness with this alien technology essentially to a cube that he could replace his mind consciousness into, which was us. But he had done that because he was going to die from the craw along with his people. Because they were still in search of a cure. So he would have died. So technically, we saved his life. Hmm. That's still. Why is. Mm -hmm. Why is Altera involved in this then? I'm. There's still questions. I st why is Marguerite here? What does she want with these people? Why? Why? Like, there's still a few questions, but I understand that Alan is definitely on our side now. Like, he is... He understands, and we're talking about the crowd because we've had past with, you know, on the first Subnautica 4546B, we managed to cure the crowd with the, uh, the Sea Amber. But, I don't know. Just, something seems off still. I trust Alan. I know that if we bring... I can't tell you what's going to happen if we give him back his body. But I can tell you that he had done the right thing saving himself from the Kara. But I don't know why he was the only one that was able to upload his consciousness into that monument somewhere underground. Like, any of them could have done it, but he did it, and all of the other ones have, like, supposedly have perished. So, he has no idea where the rest of his friends are, because he can't detect them or whatever. So, if you get what I'm saying here, something's a little fishy. Like, I know Alan wants to do good, but I feel like he's hiding something. I don't know, I just feel like he's bullshitting us somewhere. But we'll figure it out pretty soon, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this parallel processing unit, and I'll get to you. I'll get back to you guys once I finish that up. All right, here we go. Resources, electronics, parallel processing unit. Bam. And then we need titanium, lead, and copper wire. That's not hard at all to make. I still don't know, guys. I just don't know how to feel about Alan right now. Here we go. We might get a message for this. No message, really? Alright. 
diagnostic module for the Delta Station Communications Tower. As far as we know, that's just right there, I think. I'm pretty sure it's at the island, it's just that big tower. You know, we might actually put on the cold suit for this. Nah, we'll be fine. We don't really need that much cold resistance. We can always just, you know, we can always just go inside and get all our heat back. As far as I know, this actually doesn't progress the alien story in terms of Alan. I'm pretty sure this just progresses Marguerite, but I wanted to get this done for a while. It's like, we hadn't made time for Marguerite yet. I was like, you know, she's an important part of the story too. And potentially she knows about these precursors, or at least maybe she knows about Alan. I, I don't actually know. I don't think Altera got, got far enough to actually figure out Alan. Like, they hadn't actually found him. They had found the facilities that the precursors lived in. But, yeah, this is what we're looking for. Here we go. So this tower should house whatever. So how exactly do we disable this? I'm just gonna bring the prompts here right here. How exactly do we disable this? Enter. I thought there was some wires or a panel missing somewhere up here, right? Ah! I, I can't even see what's happening. Great. Now back to the terminal. Okay. You mean like this terminal? Do it. Please work. Okay. So what did that do? Okay. Oh. All right, Altera. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. Huh. All right. I don't know if I want to go to it yet, guys. I think we're going to hold that until next episode, y'all. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode here just because we've made a lot of progression this episode. And definitely, uh, I think that's enough for this at least. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, sorry that I made this one kind of short and sweet today, but I think that we've got a lot to do because of this new body we're going to be reassembling. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be crazy. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.